What up, Dope Hunters? Now that everybody has been rainbowed, easy aid, maxed out, you name it, we are going to be jumping into the Sin Shenron Red Zone, and we're going to see if we can take on two missions at the same time. Now, I've already done these separately, but I want to see if these two can be done at the same time with this precise team. I know some people have already done this, but I want to beat Sin Shenron's Red Zone using all five extreme types and doing so within seven turns. The seven turn mission was originally accomplished by myself using the super team. Just use the seven year LRs. It was very easy to do. But with an extreme team, it's a little bit tougher. You got to get a little lucky with the RNG. You have to have the right combination of units. And since we are fighting stage seven, since Shenron's first turn abilities are very chaotic. If you get sealed on your main powerhouse units, that effectively ends your run right there. And since this is a red zone, you only have three attempts per day. So my options are very limited and my luck is going to be very um, risky here. It's going to be a huge factor in the success of this run. Like I said, the seal and the locking of rotations, this is really problematic. I've had a couple instances where I've been sealed and locked across the board. One unit got sealed, the other two got locked. It's been chaos. So let's see if we can get a little lucky with the RNG here. This is the team we're going to be bringing. Double Rainbow Cooler. Obviously, Cooler is the main powerhouse on the team. 200% leader skill. If these guys get sealed, it's, it's pretty much over. But these guys do have the ability to potentially make up for it. The friend unit has 30 critical, which I love. My unit is at 15 additional and 21 critical because I want to focus on those additional attacks to get that additional super attack guaranteed. The faster we can get there, the better off we'll be. And then I'm also bringing the LRSTR full power Frieza. I feel like this unit is going to be very important here. And I want to give this unit a chance. Plus, we have the ability to disable enemy action when our health falls below 40%, if it even will. Now, the combination of items and support members we're going to be using here is Lemo. Lemo is going to be what we're doing because if we start to fall behind and then we get to the final turn, I want to ultimately combine Lemo with one of the LR coolers and see if that's going to help carry us to victory because with the cooler by then having the affinity to launch multiple super attacks, maybe even a few more, if we have attack plus 5% per on all of that, it's going to be it's going to be a pretty nice nuking bonus. So I'd like to include that. And then for the sake of, you know, if we have bad luck, I, I was thinking either Bulma. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we could possibly bring that would help even more. I don't think there's a movie boss support memory. I could be blanking here. Uh, hopefully I'm not missing anything important. I don't think there is. Um, I mean, there is like a Namek Saga boost, but that's only going to help one unit. Other than that, I don't really see anything else here. And it all, the other ones are dependent on facing a super class enemy. So in all honesty, I think that's all we got. Actually, wait, this one? What does this one do? Corroded body in mind. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. All right, so this is our combination here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Let's see if we can get the nice rotations. Let's right. jump in Let's and... All right, coolers are on both rotations. Very good. We've got Janemba along with the cooler. The team that we've got here is a pretty solid team. Everybody here, except for the Golden Frieza, is a big bad boss. Now, please don't seal. <gasps> yes, nobody got sealed. Let's go. Right, so let's see how this goes. First slot, is he going to super? We've got full guard if he supers after this. Only thing is, this Janemba is not going to be gaining the stat boost, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Super. Okay, he didn't do it. All right, now Cooler has got to launch a flurry of attacks. We got to get lucky here. I think it's like a 40% chance for the locking or the uh, ceiling. Okay, so that's good. Nice critical hit. Come on, launch more supers. Come on, man. Come on, man. Launch those supers. What are you doing? Oh, my God. There we go. And this is also really good for this first round because his 12 key super not only greatly raises defense, but it also lowers attack, which will help because this guy's super attack can be influenced by that attack nerfing. So Golden Frieza, he's not going to be that important until we get to the uh, STR phase. Although, all right. You go, you go, there you go. Okay. 90% damage reduction and I gave him full dodge, maximum dodge. All right, so no super attack on the first one, and we got lucky. Yes, I think because we've lowered his attack, he's also going to have his attack lowered a little bit more in the middle slot. So the full guard and the defense boost by the tech Janemba is not going to be that catastrophic. I think we'll be okay. All right, so he's attacking Garlic Jr. It's It sucks, but it's fine. He's going to be giving us 10% health back since he took damage. So that'll be... Okay, my gosh. Well, that's what the uh, Bulma's for, folks. <laughs> Uh, my god, that was a lot of damage. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it is what it is. We had to do it. In hindsight, though, it might have been smarter to put the Tech Janemba there, but whatever. 
a couple of these units, I believe, do have the Metamorphosis link, so I think we'll also heal from that next turn. More, 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 more. Good. Good. We need to finish this guy off in, like, three turns. That's the most. I We, we can't be dealing with this for four turns. Four turns, I feel like, is just, it's over. There's no shot. I should have kept him. That was a mistake. All right, so we gain 10% health. We also gain more thanks to Metamorphosis. But since our health is fairly low, we are going to get some nice stat boosting here. Everybody is pretty stacked right here, so we're good. Hopefully, we take him out. I think this is it. I think we take him out here. So going into the next turn, we will also gain the support memory as well. The Bulma heal, which will be nice just in time. Right, but I need you to launch, like, every super in the book. Please. Again! Yes! There we go! One more? Alright, we got this for sure. Okay. You got double attack and defense boost there. And that takes him out. Okay, sweet. Good damage from full power freeze. And now we are on turn four. We have the support memory. And we are in good shape. Very good shape. All right, please super early. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh. If he supers Garlic Jr., that's goodbye. If he supers anybody other than gold, it's over. Oh my god. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the end of it. Again? Let's go! Again? Yes! Okay, you know what? Maybe there's a chance if he supers him. No. I, I don't know, actually. I don't think so. STR Omega or Sin Shenron is really good. Wow. He took out half of his health. Good lord! Can we survive this? Wow! I haven't tried this out with Cooler. That's why I'm surprised. I'm sure some of you guys already knew that. But dude, we took double digits. Let's go. Oh, that was nice. Nice. We can actually do this in two turns. We can totally do this in two turns. I'm not short-sighted like my brother. I will be sure to exterminate every last one of you. Say goodbye. Let's do this. So he got one action removed, which means less damage, no risk. I mean, we weren't even at risk anyway for a super attack. This guy's probably going to take him out. If he doesn't, Janemba definitely will. I, I, I hope he does. There you go. Okay. All right. So unfortunately, that is one active skill down, which means one cancellation gone. But the thing is, against Omega Shenron, we already know he's going to be long, launching that nuke every two turns anyway. So it's not that big a deal. Okay. And now I'm going to use his active skill. All right. We did about 10 million damage there. Very good. Now let's use Lemo. Oh, that's looking good for cooler. So instead, I'm just going to push for the Dokkan attack. All right. So we lost one action there. Doesn't really matter. It all comes down to this turn and next turn. How much damage to, can the two coolers do to carry us through this? 18 million attack stat. I need additionals and I need criticals and I need them now. Ooh.
<laughs> oh, we're gonna kill him here. Do it again. Oh, do it. Ah. All right, full power freeze is gonna do it. Let's go. Five point four million. Oh, that is not. Oh, if he had an additional, he would have got it. Oh man, we're taking some heat there. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, we got Janemba too. Uh, forget that, dude. Janemba might actually steal the win, which is fine. But we got a nice set of boosts right there. And that is GG, folks. That is GG. Yeah, we're good. He will be launching that attack until the end. So within seven turns, we achieved it. Seven turns done. We got that done in seven turns. Fantastical. There you have it, folks. Obviously, we all know Cooler is a humongous beast. You want to do this with an extreme team? You can. You're going to have to bring the item, though. I don't think this is possible with this team makeup, unless you've got that item, which makes it a whole lot more consistent and a whole lot easier. If I were to run this back again, I feel like it could totally be done because of that boost. We got a significant uh, leap forward in terms of offense because this guy had 18 million attack launching super or just attack after attack after attack. And you saw easily we were getting two, three millions on slaps. So supers are going to be like triple that. So that was a really, really fun run. And I very much know that. That was also my fastest time ever. Shocker, considering we've got double cooler and full power Frieza, who actually did a pretty nice job in terms of damage. There you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if you were able to beat this event or this mission with an extreme team or a super team. And if you did, which team did you use? What was your strategy? Have you tried using the nuking items? If not, you're going to try it now. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.